happen with the light winds, the dry air, the clear skies is that number right there is going to want to drop down to that figure right there. And I think that's about where we're going to end up. About 61 for morning low in Springfield. Skies are, are clear. It's quiet across the area. I think we're done with our rain for the month of August. Kind of went out with a bang with the uh, flooding yesterday. Uh, that record daily rainfall uh, here in Springfield of 1.11 inches. And when we look back at the month of August, every week featured some decent rainfall, at least at points during every one of those weeks. And that's a that's a big change over what the uh, first couple of months of the summer season look like. And really, it's been sort of a roller coaster ride in regard to temperatures and in regard to precipitation amounts. May was cool and wet. We had nine and a half inches of rainfall during the month of May. Then the spigots got shut off and it got hot and it got droughty in the month of June and that continued through the month of July. The rain started to perk back up again at the end of July and we've seen it on a pretty regular basis throughout the month of August and it looks like we're going to end the month with a bit of a surplus after going a couple of months where we were in the deficit uh, in a pretty significant way, both June and also in July. But again, rain chances are over with. Drier air is flooding the area thanks to this high pressure, which is pumping it in from the north. Cold front continues to drop slowly south into uh, Arkansas. Our forecast uh, will remain quiet tonight with clear skies and tomorrow. I think we're looking at a quiet day with sunny conditions, although maybe a few more high clouds moving into southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas during the afternoon. Take a look at these temperatures. Uh, looks like upper 50s and low 60s. Uh, in fact, uh, upper 50s pretty common north and east of Springfield and cool can't rule out maybe a 59 degree reading or two in southwest Missouri and in the northwest Arkansas. Looks like about 61 in Springfield. That would be the coolest reading that we've experienced since the end of June. Uh, for tomorrow, we find uh, temperatures climbing into the 80s, about 87 or 88 for the high. Sunny skies from start to finish. Light winds out of the east northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And while it will be warm in the afternoon, it'll be a dry warmth. Uh, humidity levels staying low, and that will allow temperatures to drop back off into the low 60s. So another open window weather kind of night. Wednesday night, Thursday, humidity levels stay low, but afternoon temperatures will creep a little higher with highs in the upper 80s. I do expect Thursday to be a cloudier day. Looks like a lot of high cloudiness is going to overspread southern Missouri and northern Arkansas. That's going to make for maybe high overcast in those locations, while it should be brighter the further north you go uh, up into uh, central Missouri. Humidity forecast feels good right now. It's going to continue to feel good over the next couple of days, but humidity levels will be heading higher again by Friday. And then it looks like we're in for humid conditions throughout the upcoming holiday weekend. That's one little change that I'm making to the forecast. I'm also making this additional change. It looks like this trough is going to hang back a little bit uh, long enough so the little pocket of upper level energy is going to rotate across the region on Friday. That'll give us a chance at a few showers. And I think with that trough remaining close enough through this weekend, can't rule out some isolated spotty shower Saturday or Sunday. I think dry air starts to work into the area by uh, Monday and Tuesday, and that should shut down rain chances for the most part. Temperatures a little on the hot side. It looks like this upcoming weekend is going to feel an awful lot like this past weekend, and it was hot and it was humid this past weekend. I think we're going to find that uh, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday. A reminder that we are in summer still. And yeah. Still we'll summer be for three more weeks. And you know, you get into September, and sometimes, uh, yeah. sometimes <laughs> right, right. It, it, it takes a while to get into fall. And it looks like this may be one of those years where we have to go a little ways into September before we really get that first shot of fall weather. All right, thank you.